Leadership matters. We all know that. And it certainly matters most when it comes to the Canadian Armed Forces. Well, to say that our leadership in the CAF right now is in disarray would be an understatement. Let's go back to February of this year when explosive allegations against Canada's former Chief of Defence Staff, General Jonathan Vance, was reported by Global News that there were some inappropriate behaviour and allegations against the former CDS. Well, how were all of these allegations handled? Well, recently we have just found out that Canada's current Defence Minister, Harjit Sajjan, indeed knew about this allegation. Going back, what was suggested, and all of these allegations are just that, allegations, and the former Chief of Defence Staff, Jonathan Vance, has denied them. But what is at issue here is an email thread where it was suggested by Vance to a much younger subordinate that a, quote, clothing optional vacation should be taken. Now, there is an investigation going on into that, but we need to look at how the Trudeau government handled this. And unsurprisingly, in keeping with how they usually do, it was handled with a level of incompetence that we've come to know them by. But a committee this week, Canada's former ombudsman for the military, Gary Walburn, testified that he had indeed told Harjit Sajjan, the defence minister, about these allegations against Jonathan Vance. This is a meeting that went back to March 2018. Now, Harjit Sajjan said recently that he only heard about these allegations about Vance when they were reported in the media. But that's a complete contradiction to what we heard at committee. And email information from a former chief of staff to Harjit Sajjan contradicts his assertion that he only heard about this recently. Now the Conservatives, of course, are calling back the Defence Minister to actually have him come and testify again to clarify what exactly, who knew what and when. And how does Justin Trudeau fall into all of this? Well, his office was notified. This is a very serious allegation against the top general in the Canadian forces. Surely there would have been some concern that if these allegations had come forward, the feminist-in-chief, Canada's Justin Trudeau, would have wanted to get some answers and get some resolution for the women that had made these allegations, for the victims, or at the very least, clarify and clear up what had truly gone on. The whole notion of Canada's military in disarray takes one step further. After we found out about the allegations about against General Vance, we then found out the interim Chief of Defence Staff who was appointed after Vance uh, resigned is Art McDonald. And Admiral Art McDonald had to now step aside due to allegations of inappropriate behaviour. So what is going on in the Canadian Forces? Our men and women in uniform deserve better, Canadians deserve better, and we deserve to know some answers. But will we get any? Media reports, the Global News uh, reported about the earliest allegations. The Global Mail has been reporting about the contradictory testimony from the Defence Minister. The Canadian press got their hands on a Freedom of Information request to reveal the email that contradicts what the Minister had claimed and what he knew when. But why is it going to take a Herculean task to try to get to the bottom of what is going on? We all deserve to know what has happened. Frankly, it's our national security, and when that is threatened, things are very precious and precocious. And when did Justin Trudeau know? Again, the feminist-in-chief who says, believe all victims. What did he do about this? Right now, we're just getting obfuscation and denials, but we deserve better. Log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.